Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach T and we're going to go over this week's Tabata workout for you. So for this workout, we're going to have five groups of two exercises. You're going to do 20 seconds of hard work, 10 seconds of switch between exercises. You'll do four, rep, or four sets of each grouping and we're going to go through this just one time today. You ready, Tia? I'm ready. Okay, so exercise number one, group number one, we're gonna start with our goblet squats. So you grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you get that kettlebell right in there in your chest, elbows in tight, and you're just gonna sit into that squat, pushing those knees apart, think about spreading the floor with your feet, it's a deep breath in on the way down, push that air out as you drive back up. As you're getting tired with this one, if you need to, you can go with body weight squats with this one as well. The second exercise, we're gonna do some mountain climbers. So if you're over on this side of the room, you're gonna put some of the blue floor down so you can use those sliders here. Get your feet on those sliders, push up plank position, and then we're driving one knee up as we're reaching with that opposite leg here. Nice and controlled. You wanna go as fast as you can on this one while maintaining proper form. If you need to, you can slow it down. You can also do this without the sliders, just driving those knees up, touching those toes down if you need to, or just hold a plank for that 20 seconds. So it's up to you, whichever one you can do the best. From there, our second group of exercises, we're going to be doing our press jack. So you're going to need a set of small dumbbells here, holding them at your shoulders. We're going to throw those dumbbells up to the ceiling as you kick those feet apart here. So one leg at a time if you need to take the impact out here, or you can just go with some jumping jacks if this is hard on your shoulders. The second exercise in this group is our squat to stand with overhead rotation. So you're going to Fold at the hips, reaching for those toes, pull your butt down, and then open up with one arm reaching for the ceiling, and then open up with the other arm reaching for the ceiling. Grab those toes and straighten yourself out again. Pull back down, rotate overhead, rotate overhead, and then straighten those legs out. So just gonna go through this for that full 20 seconds, and we'll go back and forth on those two exercises. Our third group of exercises, we're gonna start with our sandbags. We're gonna work our sandbag clean here. So, chest up, arch that lower back, use those hips to gain that bag up off the floor, over those hands, on to the other biceps here, pushing that air out as you gain that bag up, squeeze those knees nice and tight at the top. The second exercise is going to be our plank with the bag pull through, so you go down to that plank position and then pull that bag across your body here, squeezing those glutes tight, wall up those abs, try not to let those hips shift on you as you're opening up here. If you need to, you can go down to your knees for this one. You can also just hold a plank for that 20 seconds if you need to. For our fourth group of exercises, we're back to our dumbbells here. Again, for this exercise, you're probably gonna go a little bit lighter with these. We're doing our Arnold presses. So palms are turned in, elbows close together. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades, press high overhead, pull those dumbbells back down, and then close it up. So we squeeze to open up, press high overhead, pull them back down, and then close it up here. So just going back and forth. Now this is gonna be a lot of work for those shoulders and not much else. So you're gonna make sure you go with some lighter weights to keep yourself feeling good with this one. The second exercise here, we're gonna go down to our tall kneeling position and we're gonna do some dislocate. So squeeze those glutes nice and tight, grabbing that rib band, we're just gonna pull on through here. So we're reaching high overhead and then pulling those arms around. You don't need a lot of tension in the band for this one. If you're feeling any discomfort in your shoulders, get a wider grip to make it a little bit lighter. This is just about opening up those shoulders here. Squeeze those glutes, wall up those abs, focus on that core strength here as you're working this one as well. Then we're on to our last set of exercises. We're gonna start with our plank squat jump. So we're gonna go from that plank position, you're gonna kick those feet outside your hands and then right back out to that plank position. If you need to, you can go one leg at a time, back and forth here, or you can just hold that plank for that 20 seconds. Our second exercise, we're back to our dumbbells and we're gonna do some power curls. So here we go, a little bit heavier with those dumbbells for this one. Those dumbbells are at your hips, you're gonna sit your hips back and then use those hips to swing those dumbbells right up to your shoulders. Deep breath in and then push that air out. Drive through those hips, squeeze those glutes, get those quads nice and tight at the top. And if you're getting tired, you need to take a break with those dumbbells at your shoulders, take a deep breath and then get right back into it when you're ready. Okay, that's our Tabata workout for this week. Great job, Tia.